Hello everyone, welcome back to the Future Military News Channel. The Hisar RF surface-to-air missile underwent its first test launch on December 3, 2022, utilizing a domestic vertical launch system, VLS, known as MAIDLAS, Mili Daiki Atom Lancer Systemi, or National Vertical Launch System. The first I-Class will have the system installed. The first domestic vertical launching mechanism used by the Turkish Navy achieved a significant milestone. The maiden test launch of the MIDLAS was successfully completed by Roketsin using an indigenous HISARRF missile at the Aksaray test range, according to the Turkish Ministry of Defense. The milestone was also proclaimed by Roketsin and the Turkish Defense Agency SSB. The Roketsin produced National Vertical Launch System MIDLAS underwent a successful initial firing test. 2023 will see the hashtag MDLAS go into service with the Turkish naval forces after being integrated onto the frigate Istanbul. One of the most significant initiatives for the Turkish naval forces is MIDLAS. This is due to the fact that the MiG-41 VLS, which Lockheed Martin originally designed for the I-Class frigates, will be replaced with this system. In order to finish the system before the commissioning of the lead ship of the I-Class frigates, the future TCG Istanbul, Roketsin hastened the National VLS project, originally slated for the TF-2000 air defense destroyers after 2027, F-515. By deploying in-house Hizar RF missiles, the MIDLAS will first equip Turkish Navy ships with an air defense capability. Later, MIDLAS will incorporate the Long Range Air Defense System SIPER Block 1, ATMACA, and other national missiles. The Turkish Navy will be able to use a variety of defensive and offensive missiles on its vessels as a result. Roketsin CEO, Murat Ikanci, noted in an interview with the government run Anagolu Agency that the firm is collaborating on the MIDLAS project with the Turkish Navy and SSB. According to him, the company is giving the integration of the missiles first priority in order to meet the demands of the Turkish Navy. We will be able to integrate our national missiles much more quickly and easily thanks to this project. In the upcoming phases of the MIDLAS project, we aim to satisfy the vertical firing requirements of all indigenous warships. The ability for Turkey to act entirely independently in this area is made possible by the fact that these weapon systems have developed to the point where they can utilize domestic ammunition. From MAN-IDLAS, we plan to launch SIPER Block 1. We have ATMACA and comparable missiles on the list.